All right, thank you, Rhonda. We'll have more updates throughout the show. But did you know that alcohol, tobacco, and caffeine can actually hurt your body if you're outside in the hot weather? Well, our News reporter Joe Mason was in on a news conference today with a doctor from Guthrie to talk about that and other things you need to know when it gets hot outside. With extremely hot temperatures moving into the Twin Tiers this week, one of Guthrie's doctors was available to talk about dealing with heat. When we think about people with heat illness, um, we always consider kind of the two extremes of age, right? The very young and the very old, they are at particular risk. Um, and so those are folks that we really want to keep our eyes out on and make sure that they are cared for. We went outside our station at 1125 this morning and the temperature was 83 degrees. We went outside later in the afternoon at 325 and the temperature went all the way up to 95 degrees. So how can you avoid heat illnesses like breathing and heart disorders? Limit your time in that heat environment, right? So you can try to do your activities at the cooler parts of the day, early in the morning, later in the evening, and avoid the worst heat. Keep yourself hydrated. When you are thirsty, that's your body telling you that you're starting to get behind. And what are signs you can look for? You're going to feel hot. You're going to notice you're sweating. Um, and certainly as you notice you're thirsty, those are, you know, quick things that your body's telling you, I need to get out of this environment um, or I need to make sure I get hydrated. You'll also start to notice that maybe you get fatigued. Maybe you have some muscle cramping, and that takes longer than usual for it to get better. What about walking on pavement and blacktop? As these temperatures go up, you know, 90 or 95 here locally, that blacktop can absorb a significant amount of temperature beyond that. Could you actually get a burn from prolonged exposure there? Yes. Um, you know, those are things that we would worry about. How can drinking alcohol and using drugs impact your health during this heat wave? There are certain drugs that people take with medical necessity that prevent you from potentially, you know, uh, being able to shed heat from sweating normally. And so that normal mechanism doesn't exist in those people. By the same token, uh, alcohol. Yes, alcohol, A, can dehydrate you a little bit. Um, and then B, that'll also, you know, change how you are able to shed heat from your body. In Elmira, Joe Mason, 18 News.